Hello students. So let's try to solve this question from CSIR NET 2024 December exam. And this is question number 152, 7051152. So there is capital Q and capital P is given. The canonical transformation is given. What we have to do? We have to find the generating function. And this is a very complex, uh, you can see this is very complex uh, transformation is given. Very complex transformation. So log is there, q to the power half is there. And we have to find the generating function. Once you will go for all four options, then you can find it is function of capital Q and a small p. That means we have to go for F3 type generating function. So before going to solve this particular question, let us go to our tutorial. So once you will go for the tutorial 2 of your classical mechanics. So this is tutorial 2 of the classical mechanics. And you will go to the page number 359. So once you will go to the page number 359, look at this question. The transformation equation between two set of uh, coordinates are given. This one, you have to show the function of it function generate this F3 type generating function. So exactly this is coming from your tutorial. Five marks question. If you have been done practice, you will just go into exam and you can just tick it. So, but let's try to solve this particular question because this question is very, very insightful and very nice problem. So let's try to solve this one in a very nice way. So first what we have to do, we have basically capital Q is equal to ln 1 plus Q to the power half cos P and capital P is equal to 2 Q to the power half 1 plus Q to the power half cos p sin p and what we have we have to go for f3 type generating function so f3 type generating function is basically function of capital q small p and it may be function of time but here it is time is not relevant so what is the rule the rule is del f3 upon del capital q is equal to minus p and uh, Second is del F3 upon del small p is equal to minus q. So we have to solve these two equations and we can easily get the answer. So now I am just starting from second one. So what we can do in the second one, we have, now you can see F3 is function of capital Q small p. So small q is not a favorable variable. So what we have to do, we have to replace this small q with the capital Q and small p. So how we will go for this? So from here we can easily replace all these things. So this q can be written as minus. So take the anti log here. So q to the power half we can find. So e to the power q minus 1 whole square and here we have sec square p is there. Now we can integrate it. Once we will integrate this one, so then we will get minus e to the power capital Q minus 1 whole square. We have to do the integration with respect to small p. So there is 10 p, but hold on, you have some constant that is f capital Q. So if you will see that a mixed term is there, so if you will just go for the guessing, then obviously your answer will be, fourth answer will be correct. But yes, this is not the right way to do the thing. So you have to go for another equation also. So how we will go for this one? So we have to go for this one. So once we will go for this one, so we have del F3 upon del capital Q is equal to, so we have to put this P directly. So you can put 2 and Q to the power half, we can put from first equation. So that value is E to the power Q minus 1 and cos p will be divided so there will be 10 p is there and so and this whole term this whole term we can write e to the power q so this is written and this sin p and this cos p is equal to 10 p so once we will and minus sign is also there so once we will go for this this is minus 2 e to the power 2 q minus e to the power q and uh, you can take this minus sign and 10 p is there. So what will happen? You can just go and integrate. So what you will get? F3 is equal to minus e to the power q because 2 and 2 will cancel 
and uh, you have this particular thing is minus e to the power e to the power 2q e to the power q so what we will do we will just try to match this thing together this mixed term must be together so what i will do i will just go for adding one and subtracting one and we have tan p and plus some function of capital q so what will we will do this can be written as minus e to the power q minus 1 whole square tan p minus minus plus tan p plus fq so what we will do we will just so this is with respect to q so there is a small p so i am just making mistake so this is function of small p so this is function of small p this is some function of a small p so what we will do we will just going to equate to both both side so once we are going to equate f capital q is equal to 0 and what we will get f small p is equal to minus 10 p and you will get option number 4 is your correct answer so students this is obviously long question five marks question you have to do calculation and you have to know what is the methodology to do this thing so during the our classroom uh, discussion we have also solved this question in your tutorial this question is there in your booklet this question is there in your test series this question is there so whenever you are going for any medium to that thing to preparation you can get this question so again i am telling you then the believe the believe on good content don't hesitate to prepare with a full of confidence is the essence of success up half had आप हाफ माइंड से काम नहीं कर सकते हो कि चलो कुछ ये कर ले कुछ ये कर ले एंड वी विल गेट सक्सेस दिस एग्जाम इज नॉट फॉर दोज स्टूडेंट यू हैव टू बी वेरी डिटरमाइंड एंड यू हैव टू डू दिस एवरी प्रॉब्लम विथ फुल ऑफ सिंसियरिटी थैंक यू